So, a few months ago, I made a video about the filler states of America, where I literally just shit-talked redneck states and the people that live there. And after I finished it and dropped it, I was quite happy with how it turned out. And at the time, I thought I was being reasonable by making fun of easy targets like Wyoming and Mississippi. But now, after a lot of time spent contemplating the ethics behind that video, I feel like I need to apologize. Rednecks all over the country already get enough shit as it is. And my video was like the salt to their already existing wounds of being stereotyped as racist. I really made an entire video calling these innocent individuals inbred white supremacists simply because they are of the Caucasian race in predominantly white states. As a faithful follower of Islam, I felt the guilt weighing down on my shoulders heavily. I felt that I need to formally apologize to my white Christian brothers in the format of a video, which is this. I thought I would, with the help of my community, assist the Aryan white individuals that live in bumfuck Arkansas to move away from only listening to country and perhaps start exploring rap music. But we mustn't hurry with this process. I believe we should take baby steps, which is why I asked my viewers on my IG story who they think are the best white rappers. Now we managed to get a plethora of different options with various gimmicks and styles. First off, we got the lyrical guys. Eminem, the spiritual, lyrical, miracle, mom spaghetti guy. He does the fast raps where he mostly just says random shit that rhymes, but the biggest problem with him is that he does not embrace his Caucasian nature. Therefore, he is a C-tier. Mac Miller, for when you're in your feels and want to listen to some good old chill raps. Definitely one of the most talented white rappers. A-tier. <laughs> and you want to accept Action Bronson. Wow. Wait, nah bro, who the fuck said MGK? Alright, enough of that lyrical shit. It's time we talk about that real music. Young Lean. Definitely a high tier rapper here. His music might take time to grow on you, but he has pure Swedish Aryan genetics, which raises his ranking, making him a great option. A tier for pure Swedish Aryan genetics. BLP Kosher. He's a Jewish flawed legit. Are Jews even white? You know what? Um, w well, since he is a Jewish rapper, I, I don't think your local Alabama pastor or KKK leader will approve of you listening to the new BLP kosher tape. Unfortunately, he's D tier. Baby Tron. Well, he's actually mixed, but definitely a great option, not only for the good raps, but he also does provide very valuable tips in case you'd like to pursue the scamming profession. I'll have to stick him in the B tier for having subpar non-Aryan genetics though. <laughs> I swear if anyone writes Dom Corleo. What did Dom Corleo do to you, man? But, personally, I do not believe that he is a very good option. Because the things he talks about in his music are provocative, sexual, and sinful. Which directly contradicts the Bible. F tier for disrespecting the preaching of your Alabama pastor. Okay, Mar who is not only of pure Aryan blood, not only makes catchy music, but is also an advocate of gun rights, which makes him an A-tier option. Lil Shine is a name that has been brought up quite a bit. I actually made a video on him back in December of last year, but the anti-white pigs at YouTube felt that it was inappropriate that I empowered a young Caucasian man for his unique work and the Hiroshima in my fucking video. I'll never forget waking up to that email. M my apologies, I, I got a bit carried away there. Little Shine is an up next rapper from the northern state of Minnesota, which unfortunately means I must lower his rating for not being from the south, but nevertheless, he makes great music that is perfect for when you're having a swell time with the fellas and having a few beers. Beats here for not being from the south, Wyland. I personally believe that he is an amazing option. Unfortunately, he has moved away from making the raps to make an emo dance pop, but I still think he's definitely worth giving the shot, as he is also pro-gun rights. He loves goddamn America. His next album is actually called American Pop. He's another Florida jit, but this time he's a pure Caucasian man. 
So let's break this down. He's from the South. He's pro gun rights. He's a beer enthusiast. He loves America. He's a pure Caucasian individual. I, I, I think we found the one. S tier for the perfect Aryan artist, Gavin Wyland. Yeet. Now, he's actually a quarter Mexican, quarter British American, and half, uh oh, ha, half Romanian. No wonder he came in and stole the rap game. He's fucking Romanian. His music is very good, but he portrays far too much dark and evil imagery. And he's Romanian. Fucking C tier. So that's about it for the recommendations from my viewers. As I was scrolling through their answers, I actually realized something quite outrageous. Not a single one mentioned Blade or Joey. I was disappointed. How can my viewers commit such an act of heresy? Therefore, I must mention them as my personal recommendations. Blade. He's actually another rapper from Sweden. While he doesn't have the blonde hair of a true Aryan Swede, he seems to be quite religious, as he has several bars referencing the Bible. A tier for remaining a man who believes in Christian values that has yet to be corrupted by the evil, unholy West. Joey, if one were to ask, who do you think is the best white rapper? Joey is definitely the name I'll bring up immediately upon hearing this foolish question that frankly answers itself. You may have seen his face on the internet, but you have yet to hear his music, which mainly consists of special effects, Joey mumbling about his Margellas and pouring up Triss, and occasionally DJ Smokey tags. He always has a clean cut, always got a clean fit on, always rolls with the rest of the Shed Theory boys, his literal main gimmick is nodding off and sleeping, and he's built like a One Piece character, S tier for being Joey. You ready? So here's the complete tier list for our recommendations for the average faithful Aryan individual living in a redneck. Oh, my, my apologies. I mean a majority white state. After taking into account everything about the rappers, including their music quality, what they talk about in their music, faith in Christianity, whether or not they're from the South, stance on gun rights, and of course, percentage of Aryan genetics, I believe this is the ideal beginner's guide to finding the perfect rapper for when you want to do a little bit of quivering and shimmering and shivering with the fellers. We're not going to have good skin every day. But we're damn sure going to make money. Ooh, no, I don't get it. Feel like the world ain't been straight in a minute. Nobody's safe and the energy different. I stay to myself, I be minding my business. I'll let you start, but you know I'm a fish. Try to hide in the house, it got caught in the kitchen.